Hi, this is Jim Helgendorf. You know, our time is a time of great confusion, no doubt about it. Division, chaos all around. But this is also a time for the rekindling of hope, for determination to forge out a new life upon this continent of America. In this regard, I'd like to read a piece titled Time of Destruction, Time of Rebuilding. Sometimes assessing the rotting foundation frames and structures of an old house sitting on a valuable piece of property, it becomes appropriate to raise the house to the ground to make way for a new modern building. In America, we've reached such a time of destruction and the commencement of a new rebuilding. The murder of George Floyd in Minneapolis, other racial murders surfacing to the light, the abysmal response by President Trump to the coronavirus pandemic resulting in the milestone so far of 200,000 deaths from this disease. The swift, unprecedented collapse of the economy with tens of millions suddenly thrown out of work, food lines where there were no food lines before, health care in disarray, Wall Street and corporations, and a stock market trying to rally amidst dire suffering and loss of hope, white racism nakedly rearing its ugly head and given tweets of support and encouragement from the White House a stark uncaringness and smell of corruption emanating from the sacred halls of the United States Senate that is astonishing in its moral decrepitude. A country wracked and divided and bleeding and devoid of leadership and crying for vision. These all signal the cracking foundations of an outmoded and ill-begotten America that is now rotting before our very eyes. It began in the beginning. America was the great dream with the promise of equality echoed in the immortal words of the Declaration of Independence. We hold these truths to be self-evident, that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights, that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. Yet from the beginning, the signers themselves of this great document and ideals expressed therein themselves upheld and profited in their own lives from the institution and degradation of slavery no less a man than one of our own Christian forefathers, Thomas Jefferson, the originator of the Declaration of Independence, this, who personally held hundreds of slaves in his moneyed accounts. This same Thomas Jefferson, who in 1814 wrote, quote, the amalgamation of whites with blacks produces a degradation to which no lover of his country, no lover of excellence in the human character can innocently consent." End quote. It was the great dream of equality and the dream of money interwoven and competing with each other for dominion laid upon the cross of human desires and the clash of these two dreams has echoed throughout our history to this very moment today when we witness the final brutal ascendancy of greed and money and gross inequality of an economic system that drains the blood from off the body of the populace into the coffers of the few and a division of soul and heart, a refusal to see ourselves in others, a deep white wall of prejudice. It is all cracking, 
showing us the rotting structures and framework. It's time to clear the ground for a new rebuilding. This transformation will not come from without. A great new spiritual transformation is needed. This emerges only from within the individual human heart. This is where the change and transformation must take place. From there, a new politics, a new economics, a new nation and brotherhood and humanity will emerge. A new generation is rising. May they lay the foundation and way to a new nation, once again shouldering the task of fulfilling the original, timeless, true dream of America. This is a time of great opportunity and promise. To all of you, keep faith in yourself. Keep faith in your dreams. Nam myoho renge kyo. Thank you.